Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler from Melder Production, and today I'm going to go over M Turbo Comp, and I'm actually going to go over the Easy Screen, but something I made for the Easy Screen. So, of course, in M Turbo Comp, uh, the full version, you have the Edit Screen here, which is uh, sometimes very intimidating. It's hard to understand. And then you have the Easy Screen here, but some people think like, you know, even this is sometimes too much. So I'm going to show you an even easier screen that I made that reduced some of these controls that some of you might like, and I'll try to post it online. So if you like it, you can do, uh, you know, download it yourself. And I'll show you how to do it briefly in here if you want to make your own. So let's first listen to what I have here. This is a song I did a few months ago. So you see here, I just use this Meave uh, to compress this, but let's see some of the other ones I made. So let's go into B here. If you didn't know, this A, B, C, D, E, F is just a way to A, B between things. So just go to B here. And instead of that, let's look in here. I don't know, try this Cherry Moo, I guess. Okay. So here we go here. And this is just a variation that I made myself. So all I did was just subtract some things. So it should work the exact same way. Just it looks, uh, you know, there's less things on there. It's, uh, you know, just minimized, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Is that, is that the proper way to use minimize? Probably not. Anyways, let's get to it and I'll show you how it works. Let me just play it quickly. So you see, this is one, the controls are very easy to understand. I'll do one more, which one should I do? This one, I guess, okay. This one you see, same thing, just says threshold, has time, it has gain in, gain out, etc. Here we go. So, you can hear what it's doing there. It has the wet dry, which I don't think was on the original, but of course you can add whatever you want in here. So, let me show you how you can do this yourself. So, let's see here. Let's do this one, which the DB Meld is based off of, but you see here, it's really bare bones. So, I'm gonna show you how you can get to this from the original one. So, let's even go into C here. So, this is what it originally looked like. This is what I changed it into, and I'll show you how you can do that. So, we're just gonna go into here, C, and what we wanna do first is start moving and getting rid of some of the controls. So, we can either erase them, or you can actually just make them invisible. So, you see here the saturation compression control? On this one, you don't have them. You can use the hardware for reference if you want, or you can just, you know, take off the things you like. It's up to you. Uh, but, let's say here the comp Compression and saturation. So I go into the edit screen. I see compression here. And let's say if I want to just get rid of it for now so I can't see it, but I still want it to be there. So if I go into the edit screen, I can still use it. And if I remember like, what was that? I want to kind of change that. You can still change it. You just don't have to look at it when you're in the easy screen. So just click this visible off. I'll do the same thing with for the saturation because in the future, you know, I might want to use it. So click visible off. Now we'll go back here, see, it's completely gone. Now, same thing for everything in the detector. It's like, uh, well, that's not there. It might be useful. If you want this, you can keep this, especially, oh, I want the side chain input. You know, you might want to keep that, but for this, let's not do it. And let's say for this one, I'll show you how you can erase them. So of course you can go here and hit reset, but there's actually an easier way instead of going through each of them, go to the manager here and I'll just, Click here, I'll shift click to highlight them all, and then I will hit reset. That just erased all of them. So that's bad if you think, oh, I might wanna use them in the future, then just make them invisible. 
uh, by clicking visible off. But if you think, ah, I don't ever want them, you can just get rid of them like that. And besides, you always have this one here as a reference if you ever want it back. Now, what I can do here is make these bigger like I did here, and I can change them. I'll just leave these input and output though, uh, the labels. So here I can click Control, Alt, and Shift, and then you just left click on it if you're on PC, and change it from normal to big. There we go. Same thing with output, big, and same thing with wet dry. You could get rid of that too if you don't want that, but I like it there. So there we go, we made them big. If you don't like that, you can leave them small and do whatever you want. The threshold, I think, oh, you know, that's okay. There's no problem with that. Uh, the ratio I might want to change and the attack and release. Instead of percentages, actually, maybe it doesn't even have attack and release, does it? This is a nice feature, but uh, I don't need to see this. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. And visible, no. Same thing here, visible, no. And for the ratio, see here I have it, it goes between these. And if I look in here, it has some different ratios. They're already kind of labeled, and I use set by bank name because it has the labels here. Here it's actually interpolating through values. I think for some of the compressors, it doesn't actually interpolate, so you can turn that off. But I believe for this model, it actually does interpolate between the values. So you might want to actually leave this on. Uh, but all I do is just change this from the percentage to by bank name here. So let's go back into C and do that. So change it to by bank name, like that. And now you'll see, it'll move like that. And I think there's also some other options here. Let's try this by bank names interpolated. Let's see how this works. Now, ooh, that's nice. So that way you can see the exact ratios if that's closer you want. Uh, it stopped at eight and then, I guess it can't do infinite. You can't really interpolate between infinite, can you? Uh, so there you go. But that gives you an idea of what you can do and how you can do that. Do this. This is fairly fast. It doesn't take so long, although depending on the model, someone like, oh, you know, kind of hurt my head doing them. And I haven't finished them all. But I hope I would, I wanted to give you these so you can, you know, use them yourself. And of course, you can go in and change the values if you want, if you're feeling brave. Um, and use these however you like. I haven't uploaded these to the online uh, preset uh, uh, bin, what is it? online preset exchange, but I will do that right now so you can see I actually did it. So let me see, can I do these all at once or do I have to do these one at a time? Okay, yeah. Okay, let me see. How many others do I have? I don't even see mine there. Where is it? Okay. Submit this one. I wish I could just submit these all together, but you get the idea. And if you're wondering, like, oh, okay, maybe how, how do I find them in here? Uh, if you look here, the preset information, I just label them all Chandler Guitar. So I'll finish putting the rest of these on here. If you like this, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about it, Leave them down below and check out all the other plugins at MilterProduction.com. Till next time, see you.